Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing alleluia. Shout with gladness, dance for joy. O oh, come before the Lord and play for God on glad tambourines and let your trumpet sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing Alleluia. Rise, O children, from your sleep. Your Savior now has come. He has turned your sorrow to joy and filled your soul with song. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing Alleluia. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here on this Wednesday of the 28th week of Ordinary Time. We gather once again rejoicing in God's mercy, rejoicing that God has forgiven our sins, and he leads us ever closer to his love. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you as I warned you before. Those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of the sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff, which the wind drives away. But the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord, I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said, 
Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every herb and garden for herb. But you pay no attention to judgment and to love of God. Those you have should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. The one of the scholars of the law said to him, Reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe to you, scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourself do not lift one finger to touch them. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Paul is trying to get these stupid Galatians, he used the term, I did not, to start to follow the Spirit. They've been following some Spirit, but they weren't following the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. For if you remember, St. Paul gives us what we call the fruits of the Holy Spirit. He tells us that it is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So if your life is filled with these fruits, you know for sure that you are following in the footsteps of the Holy Spirit. You're being guided by the Holy Spirit. But in contrast, if your life is filled with immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. You're not following the Holy Spirit. You know, sometimes we expect things. We expect everything. And we want it done in our time. If not, we become angry. We actually had someone come into the parish offices not too long ago. She wanted to have something blessed. Well, one of the priests was at a cemetery finishing a funeral. The other was in the church doing another funeral. And the third priest who we had was his day off. There was no one available and went into this rage. She wanted something done, and she wanted it done now. Not conscious of what other people may be doing. And I would say she wasn't following the proper gift of the Holy Spirit. Because you want something blessed and you become angry, that doesn't sound like something God's Spirit would do. So sometimes we are guided and we allow our passions to come out, which means we're being succumbing to the flesh. We're not succumbing to God's Spirit. And you know, all of us have these outbursts of anger here and there. But sometimes we need to think, before we start to blame someone else, to look internally at ourselves. And that's exactly what Jesus told the people. He told the religious leaders of that day, you know, look at yourself. Look what you do to other people. You put this stuff upon them that they have to follow, but do nothing to help them. Not lift a finger. Paying, you know, tithes, but ignoring the love of God and the love of neighbor. Once again, Jesus is calling us to internal conversion, internal metanoia, turning away from ourselves and the world and turning back to God. And when we live by the fruits of the Spirit, when our lives show these fruits, then we know we are following the Holy Spirit and not some spirit of this earth. Let us bring our needs and those of our brothers and sisters to Christ and our loving Father. 
For all of us in the church, may the Lord bless us and purify our hearts for the coming of the fullness of the kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our civic and our world leader. May God grant them wisdom, compassion, and integrity in serving their communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our nation, for an end to abortion, and the greatest respect for all human life. From the moment of conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for couples who are struggling with difficult relationships. May the Holy Spirit guide them in reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own faith community, may God help us to grow in charity and kindness and the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray also for the sick, the suffering, those who are suffering from mental illness or addictions, that Christ may lead them and guide them and heal them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all of our beloved dead. May they come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your needs, your intentions, that we bring to our Father today in the very silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We unite all of these prayers into one. We lift them up to God our Father as we pray as Jesus taught. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Gracious and loving God, we dare to ask you, but we ask you that you hear and answer our prayers, if they are your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Ayo, holy queen and throned above, O Maria, Hail, Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph, all ye cherubim, sing with us, ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound by him, Son.